your mama said The people are depending on you, Shirley Don't you let them down Lord made me to know my end and the number of my days, that I may be certified how long I have lived. Behold, thou hast made my days as it were a span long, and my age is evil and nothing in respect of thee. Verily, every man living is altogether vanity. For a man walketh in a vain shadow, and despoiteth himself in vain. He heapeth up riches, and cannot tell who shall gather them. And now, Lord, what is my hope? 
Surely my hope is even in thee. I am a stranger with thee and a sojourner as all my fathers were. Lord, thou hast been our refuge from one generation to another. Before the mountains were brought forth, or even the earth or the world was made. Thou art God from everlasting and the world without end. Thou turnest man to destruction. Again thou sayest, Come again, ye children of men. For a thousand years in thy sight there was but yesterday, seeing that is past as a watch in the night. Neither for age are six, four years and ten. And though men be so strong that they come to four score years, yet is their strength. Then but labor and sorrow, and we are bound to so teach us the number of days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. And it was in the beginning, it now and ever shall be, world without end. Praise God, you may be seated. Let me give honor to the Holy Spirit of God this morning, to my pastors, my choir, family members, well wishers, I greet you well this morning. We are here today to celebrate the life of our dear sister, mother, cousin, aunt, Vandalus Moore, a life well lived. A woman, a very strong woman, a woman with a very strong faith in God. And so today, we will not mourn like those who have no hope. But we know that our sister is at a better place. God bless you, time is far gone. And so at this time, I'm going to ask our moderator, Pastor Dunkley, if she would come at this time and hit the ground running. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Shall we worship the Lord? Shall we worship the Lord? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let me greet all the occupants of the form. Amen. Musicians, family members. Amen. Each and every one, let me greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Amen. Praise God. Yes, Lord. Praise God. Amen. Let us turn our program. Amen. Just bear me, I mean, just bear me. I'm asking the congregation to stand. We are going to do this thing when we all get to heaven. Thank you. 
see Jesus. We are going to sing. Oh glory. We are going to shout the victory. Oh glory. Because we have the victory over the enemy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Come in with the opening prayers. Pass the wings of Heron. Praise God. Bless the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege, Lord. Today, knowing that we can carry everything to you in prayer. We thank you, Lord, for this blessed day. We thank you, God, for the privilege today to be in this service of thanksgiving, giving you praise for a life well lived. Amen. We thank you, God, for your servant whom you have known to us for a few years. We give you glory, we give you honor, and we praise you. And we know, Lord, you love us in life, and even in death, you still love us. And so we ask today, God, as we gather here today, to put away the remain of our sister, Sister Moore, oh God. We ask that you will tabernacle with us today. Let your presence be felt among us, Lord. We pray that your Holy Spirit will sit upon your people today as you sat upon them in Pentecost. God Almighty, I pray that all things today will be done to the honor and to the glory of your name and that your name will be lifted up forever. Have your own way today, Lord, and lead the service for us. We ask, God, that you, Lord, will be the leader, that you today, Lord God, will direct the program, even though we may have the order of service in our hands, but we ask that you, Lord, will direct the program. Have thine own way, and bless us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let me do an introduction here. Praise the Lord. Okay. All right. Um, we have some seats on the platform here. If you are a pastor, a bishop, an overseer or a minister. I'm just going to give you a little time that you can just leave your seat in the congregation and join us up here. Bless the Lord. We have with us here on the platform some pastors and overseers. Some of them I'm not acquainted with their names, so I'm just going to ask them to give the name. Bless the Lord. So I'm going to, for those that I'm acquainted with and those that I'm not acquainted with, you are going to give your name. And I'm starting right here. I'm Minister Velma Graham from the Big Testament Church. Praise the Lord, Mr. Pastor. I am Bishop Ralston Graham from the Big Testament. Bless the Lord, I am Chapri from the Big Testament Church. Bless the Lord, I am Chapri from I'm Minister Pius Brown from Moran Full Truth. I'm Wings of Heron. I'm from Jericho. I am Pastor Lena Joyce White from the Cumberland and Cuthbrook Church of God in Jamaica. I'm Pastor Sharon Bidley from the Full Truth Church of God, Brian Peace. Praise the Lord. Shall we bless the Lord? Let me hear you worship the Lord. Let me hear you worship God. Hallelujah. Praise God. The first lesson is coming to us from Psalm 90, verse 1 to verse 12. Kevon Booth and Shania Williams, grandson and granddaughter. You are going to come like that. Peace. Good morning, everyone. The first lesson is taken from Psalms 90, verse 1 to 12, and it reads, 
Lord thou has been Lord thou has been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou had formed the earth and the world. And even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Thou turnest mountain structure and says, Return ye children of men. For a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday when it is past, and as a watch in the night. Thou carriest them away with a flood, and they are as asleep in the morning, they are like glass which growing up. In the morning in the morning it flourish and growing up. In the evening it is cut down and withered. For we are consumed by thine anger, and by thy wrath are we troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the lives of thy continent. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath, we spend our years on the tale that is told. The days of our years are three score years and ten, and if by reason of strength they be four score years, Yet is there strength, labor, and sorrow, for it is soon cut off, and we fly away. Who knoweth the power of thine anger, even according to thy fear, so is thy wrath. So teach us to, so teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. God's holy word, we honor by saying thanks be to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let me say to the family members that I share my deepest sympathy with you. Amen. Fuchu Church of God Deliverance Center um, in Jamaica and Canada and in America send their deepest sympathy to you, our general overseer, overseer Arthur Brown, is unable to be here. He was here um, Tuesday for that funeral and at this time he's unable. So, um, he sent his apology and his condolences to the family. Okay. Praise the Lord. Amen. My, my, my brothers and sisters, um, there's a tribute on the program for me, but I am going to ask Pastor Bentley to do an overall for the full truth body. But for me, I just want to say this, that evangelist more. Oh, God. What, what must I, how must I begin? Evangelist Moore was a woman of God. A woman that we could depend on in every walk of the church activity. Every way and everywhere we could depend on Sister Moore. Evangelist Moore. Little Moore. Moore for us. Praise the Lord. Amen. A great woman of God. Once we have that evangelistic team and she was a part of it and through the length of and breadth of Clarendon and part of Manchester evangelist Moore always when I tell you always she always be there with us. The only time evangelist Moore is absent from anything that we are having if she's gone to make it. That's the only time. She was such a kind person. When it comes to kindness, check evangelist more. She did not have a lot, but she gave from what she had. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Sometimes when she's coming to look at Jericho or the other churches, you 
shall call for me. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to acknowledge the presence of Almighty God. Amen. Our host pastor and brethren and all the other pastors and our bereaved families and everyone else in the house of the Lord, I extend to you my heart of greetings. Bless the name of the Lord. It is indeed amen, a good day for the Lord to come again. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I could not and I will not and I did not miss this funeral for anything. Believe you me, I could not sleep last night dying for something that the day to light to be here. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise God. I were asked to give to it on behalf of the full two church. Amen. Churches. I got to know Sister Moore when this church was on the body of the region too. Bless the name of the Lord. And oh my God. And if you can't talk about the church, I'm talking about us now. Finding her was one of the best things that happened in my life. I remember in the end, but in the 90s when I had my first trial and we went to convention. The church had just moved to Fort Arthur Road. So we had to get some cardboard and some sponge to lay down. Then I just got married and I had a baby. And Sister Moore said, sit down here, so with me. Give me the baby and go and go pray. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I found her to be a real woman of God. Never live for a service. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. And wherever we are called on a mission, Sister Moore had to be there. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, let us live good. Yes. Greet good. And when we are parting from each other, part good. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Tell somebody you are doing a good job. While they are carrying on their journey. But there are times we just need a word to finish our race. Sister Moore had run a good race. A very loving woman. Bless the name of the Lord. She took me in her lap and she said, Bentley, you have them fast, but don't worry yourself. They soon let you go. <laughs> she said, they soon let you go. And when I met sometimes you even have the children, them fast, no man, and they go to a church, and start rolling up and down a church. Sister, I'm going to be in my mind. Worship God. They soon let you go. Brothers and sisters, I am happy for her. And I'm happy that she has gone home. Bless the name of the Lord. Why? She had been sharing all the ministry. My church that I passed is all the way up in, amen, Brian's peace. And I said that when they were on region two, Sister Moore alone, sometimes she's there from Saturday evening, if it is crusade. And I found comfort in the woman of God. And I'm happy that she has gone home. Bless God, she has run her leg off the race. Hallelujah! Amen. And she's resting until the final trial. Bless God, rest well, woman of God. If we never meet again, this side of heaven, we will meet on the beauty.
Wait, wait, wait. Turn around. Living Water Apostolic Church.
Testament. Leap in your testament. Thank you. 
we will never make heaven our home. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. And our retired bishop from the New Testament church. I would love to hear you sing when you were much younger. Praise God. Because the melody remained in your voice. So I can imagine when you were much younger. Oh my God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. And praise God. The Living Water Apostolic Church. Amen. And the Cumberland Church. Praise God. Let me thank you. Amen for amen your tributes that you have given here today. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we bless the Lord? Amen. We can't have less than this from worry. Not at all. Not less. Not less. Hallelujah. She was alive. Why? Oh, glory to God. A woman that keeps shouting. Glory. Everywhere the choir went. Mori always been there. She sang for many, many years on the national choir. Amen. At the full true church of God. Amen. And no wonder why there are so many songs being rendered. Amen. In tribute of evangelist Moore. Amen. The second lesson comes to us from 1 Corinthians 15, 50 to 58, and it will be done by Peter Gay Chambers and Kamaria Hilton, granddaughters, and you're going to come, amen, and read the second lesson. Bless the Lord. Praise God. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Uh, Can you all stand for the reading of the Holy Word? <laughs> Our scripture reading comes to us from 1 Corinthians 15, verse 50 to 58. And it reads us, Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Neither thou corruption in everything corruption. Behold, I show you mystery, which we, we shall not all see, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpets, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead, in, the dead shall be rise incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this incorruptible must put on incorrupt incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. Verse 54. So when this is corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the same that is written, death is fallen up in victory. O death, where is thy sin? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 58, and where we end. Therefore, my brethren, therefore, my brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain. The Lord. The Lord. The Lord. The 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 The
just want to do a few more um, tributes that are not on your program, right? Praise God. So we are going to have at this time um, Overseer Rupert Hall, um, Region 2, Amen, Minister Gordon, Praise God, and Pastor, and Pastor Peel, right? Richards. So you are going to come and just give your tributes, please. Amen. Good morning to everyone. Good morning. So our moderator to all the ministers, whether on the platform or in the congregation or on the outside to our bereaved family, I greet you well and to the family I say my condolences. I would not have missed this funeral for anything. I would have to be here, whether walking, being carried, or something, but I would have to be here. And the reason why is that when persons serve, they must be honored. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Come on, praise the name of the Lord. And even now, my little family had set their programs and some of us were not on it and all of that. And that's all right. But we turn up to show our respect to a woman that will live. And I'm going to be saying something that most persons wouldn't be saying. But without evangelists more, there wouldn't be this full truth in general. When nobody else was around, it was Mother Moore. Amen. She came to Andrew and she spent days with us and she was all over the place. Praise the name of the Lord. And I am looking forward to meet this woman in heaven. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Come on, praise the name of the Lord. Worship the name of Jesus. My, 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 my wife said, Pastor, we can't miss this funeral for anything. So she take her day off from her business place to show respect to a woman who served the church. And I'm going to be encouraging us as people that are left here. Eat what you can. Live well. And serve God. Amen. Don't, don't pile up everything to wait until you're gone because you're not getting anything. Eat that still when you can eat that still. Lord of mercy. Amen, church of God. Amen, church of God. Mother Moore lived well. And I'm, and I'm really happy. When I heard that she passed, I was so sad. But when I come and I see the kind of reception that is being given for the woman of God, I'm really happy for this old boy. In closing, Hebrews 12 verse 1 says, Let us run with perseverance the race marked for us. I can't say to Sister Moore anymore, but I say to us, run light. Run light. Don't carry no baggage with you. Lord of mercy. The nearer you get to the finishing line, is the lighter you should be. I'm in church of God. Don't let the pettiness and what people say about your matters. When I get up to glory, I'll surely settle down.
and she stood the test of time. And what we see here today is not a show off. It's the life that she lived speaking for her. Concerned because the life that she lived, speak her, live on my sister. You have run your race, and not just one word, but she finished well. She finished well, and that's what's important. Christian is not how you run, it's how you finish. God bless you, Jesus. Christ. I'm a God pilgrim on my way, roaming to the glory land. Even my holy hope has stayed, roaming in Gives life and it 
its will be broken. Tilda, 
and I will refer to her as such. Praise God. Um, I give God thanks for this service. It feels like I'm in a convention. Um, it made me forget what I'm missing in Jamaica. Um, praise God for this gathering. Praise God. And I'm just going to try and keep it short. Praise God. I had um, needed to be in Jamaica at this time. And I had arranged with Cousin Grace that um, my itinerary I had planned that from this afternoon I was going to come over to Mayhe to spend time with Aunt Tilda and her. And one of the things I said I was going to do was make sure I took her out for some ice cream. Because I knew that she ate ice cream and I'd seen videos of her enjoying ice cream. So I wanted to do that with her because she was a, a great aunt to me. Um, when I came to Peckham, she was looking after my grandfather, um, Eaton Moore, and um, one thing about Aunt Tilda, she was a queen of hospitality. She made sure that you were comfortable. If we were coming, everything was prepared. She was always running about and doing whatever she could for myself or anyone else that came. And, and she would ask me what I wanted, and if I, whatever I said I, I needed, she would find it. On, by the time I was leaving. She never sent me away without sending me with something for my mother. And, and she really showed a lot of kindness. One thing I admired about her was that I knew it was time to kind of get up because I would hear her praying in the next bedroom. Um, she was always a praying woman. She was always a singing woman. And um, I admired her the way she went around. Um, when I first came, I wasn't married at the time. But there was examples I saw in her that I thought, yes, I would apply that if I was a wife. And I thank God at times there was a sense of humility about the way she was a wife. And I thank the Lord that parts of it I was able to do in my marriage, praise God. And I just want to encourage everyone. Um, I believe it's um, Revelation 12, 13 or Revelation 14, 13. It says, blessed are they that die in the Lord, that are dead but die in the Lord. It tells us that their rest and their work, they're resting from their labor and their works do follow them. And I believe that when I see how the grandchildren come and read her children who I've always known to be worshippers and lovers of God, to see that they're continuing that. And I want to encourage you, continue this great legacy. I can see in the second and third generation that came up here and God is doing a great work. Don't come down. Don't come down. Don't forget the example your mum showed. And God bless you all in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Amen. The nieces and the nephews join in with the grandchildren. Okay, all right. Thank you. Praise God. As I heard, um, uh, Miss. This Brown said a while ago that evangelists more always been a busy person. I tell you, we can attest to that. Whenever time any function at all going on in this church. You see she coming down with the tie up on her head. You see she running here, so she running. And after the meal is served, she go to everybody and say, Am I right? Am I right? She was alright? Alright, so why is the such a key here? And although we got ours, but she always makes sure that she have a little piece. Otherwise, to push in her our hand. Tell you, man, imagine this morning, a sweet the truth. Praise God, you sweet the truth, man. Bless the Lord. We are going to do the offering now. Then I will go back into the tributes. Praise the Lord. And you can see, everybody uh, Hi. So give tangible please. That next time when you come for the convention, then you will have a seal house. Okay? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. After Terry me. A country where no twilight shadow deepen. I end in the when night will never be. In a city where no storm clouds can appear, who is in charge of everything for me?
wonderful courage, Lord, that we gather, gather in this fashion, Lord, to, oh God, to put away your daughter in fine style. Lord, I'm right here, Lord, we are here to give a thanks, because you said, Lord, we should give thanks for everything, and we thank you today, Lord, God, we give us special thanks for the life that our dear sister lived, Lord. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord. And I pray God Almighty at this time, Lord, that someone will take a leave oh, of her book. God, that we have collected effort from the hands of your people, Lord. I pray that God will bless the hands that have to give. Those who have not to give, Lord, I pray you amen provide for them, Lord. I pray you will open doors for them, Lord. That in due season, they will have to give to the cause of your word. Bless it, I pray, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Thank you all. You know, Sister Moore, even this more has touched the life of so many people. Amen. When we look in the congregation, there we have Minister Dixon. Amen. Sister Moore touched the life. Amen. Of each and every one that she came in contact with. Praise God. And not in a negative way, but in a positive way. Praise God. Shall we bless the Lord? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, one of my church sisters said to me when I walk in, she said, Pastor, even if I couldn't come, I have to come. Amen. To Sister Moore funeral. Praise God. Even if I couldn't come, I have to come. Hallelujah. Isn't that love? Oh my God. That is love. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Sister Dick, Minister Dixon, just wave your hand. Where are you there? Look, 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 look. I'm not seeing you. Where are you? Where are you? Minister Dixon, on the outside, just wave your hand. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask the church to stand. Each and every one of you, I'm going to ask you to stand. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Overseer Hall, come here. Oh, glory. Lord Jesus. We want to salute this woman of God. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. And been gone down. But the colleagues, amen, salute. Amen, the government officials died. Amen, soldiers, salute. Amen, this is a great woman of God that has transitioned herself from this life. And as a fact, we need to salute her. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. today, amen, because we send in our mom, a woman of God that lived her life for the Lord, there's a song that says, I only live my life to please the Lord, and that epitomizes evangelists more, we're going to be saluting her at this time, seven shouts of hallelujah at my count, I'm in church of God, I'm in church of God, the last one, the seventh one, we're going to hold it for a time. Amen? Yes. Amen. Yes. 
So one.
the children and the siblings. Praise God. Amen. You're going to come like that. Amen. 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 Glory. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Come, go on again. Carry on. Come, Mama. Start it now, Mama. Carry on.
Me and Ann here, we were the members of the church. And let me tell you something. It's hard to come in contact with Jesus and still be the same. I don't care who you are. I don't care you can be the chiefest of sinners. You will never be the same. And I forgot, I've been going down to the church playing church. Came home still disobedient. Didn't want to wash the dishes. Didn't want to bring the clothes in off the line. Didn't want to do anything. Mama said, I'm sick of you going down that church playing with God. Men and that, we went outdoors. We started playing church. Sat down on the bottom step. My brother was a preacher. And we were the members in the church. And he put some old glasses and put them right here on his nose. And he said, I, he said, I want you to jump up and shout Jesus three times. And I jumped up and I shouted Jesus two times. But when I jumped up the third time, something got a hold of me. I couldn't sit back down. And ran in the house. She said, Mama, so Shirley Ann is out there playing with the Lord. Mama came to the door. And she looked out there and saw me shouting and dancing all over the backyard, tears running down my face. It's just a lie. Mama looked out there and she said, she ain't playing this time. Give a hundred percent to the ministry. 
But evangelists more to yes. my place. Yes. And even lately, I went somewhere and somebody was asking who I am. And I said, I'm Pastor Anderson White. She said, Really? <laughs> She was a no nonsense woman of God. She loved the Lord from the depths of her heart. She had a deserving spirit. She might not have been an eloquent speaker. But she was a talented singer. And if her sister more alone and every other member was absent from the choir, she was told and to sing. And the heaven and the choir would join her. And it would sound as if the church did fall. It doesn't matter if you're talking about her, you go all over the places. Because she was an all over the place woman. She was here, there, and everywhere. She worked in this community. She served the community. She served the church. Not only with her talent, she wasn't working, but she would deceive her children. Give to the Lord. Yes. That's right, that's, that's right. right. And they will not let her down. That's yes. right. <laughs> she lived in this community. But when her husband took sick and was living in Maypen, she had to travel from here to help and look after her husband. And she was such a dedicated, committed person that on Sunday she would not remain in my bed. That's true, that's true. She would get up very early. Yeah. And she would make sure she reached from field early that if she couldn't get anything, she would walk it on. Yes, And she would walk, and she would reach the church, and she would look if it was clean. Yes, yes. And if it was suit her, she would prepare. She would go home. And she would be here before some of the members. That was the similar. My God. Sister Moore. When it comes to traveling to represent the church. Pepper was never absent. Never. 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 She would go from Saturday and she would not return until the Friday. Of the she would spend the entire week. She sung on the general choir. She sung on the regional choir. This woman loved God from the depths of her heart. And she didn't matter if she died and burned. Yes, yes, yes. As long as she was given service. That little more was a true servant of the Lord. She was a light of person. She didn't like it. She is deserving. Hallelujah. 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 I could go on and on speaking about her. But 
but in the interest of time, I know I have to summarize. What I can say to you today, when I was down there, I said, boy, so many people talking. I don't think I need to go and say anything. But I just heard her voice say to me, I know she was my singer. She already referred to me as Mother Anderson. Yes. And the children did the same. Yes. And she would say, Mother Anderson, you know, if you don't go, they're going to say something. Me now. <laughs> <laughs> you have to say something. You have to say something. Say something. That is what she was like. Amen. So I know if I didn't say anything on her behalf, she wouldn't be pleased. But one thing I can tell you, we don't have to use any long stick to push her up into heaven. This was a life well lived. This was a life dedicated to Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
want in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. She had grown up us in a respectful life. Teach us how to love and to be kind to one another. She always told all of us that nine siblings, three boys and six girls. Hallelujah. And she always tell us, live good, love each other. If you, if you have a finger of banana on your sister, your brother don't have any. You don't put up a shield and you don't put it. She teaches us to share. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We missed her this evening. We are not morning. I pray that like we don't have a hope. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But we really miss our mom. When she was alive and we were here in Sinch already, when we leave maybe to come here, spend some time with her, we better make sure that we pack our bag with everything that we need. Because no matter thing that you can come at her home and say a dragon and a clothes or a shoes or anything. She will make sure to tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us, don't put the sin of self in and sanctify your clothes. We clothes them sanctify and shoes and sanctify. Because we are up to the house of God to worship God. And we are in our sinful life. So we must not come and mar our clothes. Now our shoes. Glory to God. We always tell of our mom. When she's coming to Maypen, and we hear that mama is coming to Maypen. Yes. Every month she opened them shell. Yes. When we come in my key prayer meeting, yes. and I must say, God, everybody, look from the biggest to the smallest, yes. and you better come and join the prayer meeting. Because yes. she now starts the video coming. Yes. And she said, This is the work of God. And we know something to pray when it comes to God and God gives us. Glory to God. It's something to mix up in our sin. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. I don't want to put in the church and one yes. foot out. He said, when I live the God, you know, I live the God, you know, I live the God. Don't live and play a church. That God will kill you, no? Yes, that's what I always say. That's all what my mother always said. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. She was a serious woman. Yes. Yes. Very serious woman. Reggie would have to run and hide. If we know that we say in Christ, that we are not right. Yes. We are not right. We start fret and yes. pain. We fret. All of us as children and grandchildren. Because we know that mama is coming. Yes. And I'm going to pick you up if you're not ready. Yes. Yes. And I'm going to say to you, say, you, not ready. Yes. Yeah, I'm full of you. Don't play with me. Yes. Don't play with me. Yes. You're not ready. Yes. So that makes sense. You're going like you're already. Yes. You're not ready. Yes. Only don't tell me if you're a fool. Yes. I'm not a blind yes. sister. Yes. That was my mother. Yes. That's till the more. And she left a legacy behind for us to follow. Yeah. Everything that even we hear each person come and say about her is not a lie. Yes. I loved my mother, amen, into and to the very brain. Uh, glory to God that she lives a life, a very respectful life oh, for yeah. us to follow. Glory to God. And we are following in that trap. Uh, glory to God. And if we don't amen, differ, glory to God. We will meet Mama again on the other side. Glory to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. She always loved to sing this song. He, when you give the best of your service. Deliver And the Savior Is come We not Is man What man Don't Believe 
are carrying on until Jesus comes. Amen.
to my heart. You know when she was old, go up, going out and meeting and coming back in. While I was living in loving free, she always stopped by me. If it is day, she stopped. If it is night, she stopped and sleep until the morning. And when she was leaving, if she see a dirty place in the sink, she would not leave it. She going to wash it. She going to see that everything is in order and say where she leave. I could remember one day, one night she sleep over, and the morning she get up, and I did by a rake this Saturday, and just as I was using the rake, it mattered. And she come, and the rake was in front of the yard, and my sister would bend down and pick up every leaf with her hand. When you say you will take his broom she used, praise God, I couldn't forget that day. And if I have clothes to wash, she would wash them. And after she washed them, she said, me a go over now, you know, because the yard must be in a bad state then now. Praise God. And even up her house, if she had come out of the house and she would see a leaf blowing the yard, now pass it, she had bent down and take it up. Praise God, that was my sister. And I miss her dearly. I miss her when I tell you, say, I miss her, I miss her today. Amen. Then, from the bottom of my heart, I miss her. God bless Amen. you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Wonderful. Amen. Wonderful. They're coming down nicely. Praise God. Amen. But at this time, I know that Howie, that's how evangelists more call, call him. Family to anyone and I went out there. <laughs> Evangelist Moore speaks so much and she loves Howie from the bottom of her heart. Not saying that she don't love the other grandkids, but now I realize the first grandson. So she loved him. And he's coming at this time with the remembrance. Praise the Lord. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, I'm very sad but very happy today because um, Mama definitely deserved this. Amen. She definitely deserved this. Amen. Amen. Um, it just brings back some um, nostalgic feeling uh, of the days when I was young. I used to. I remember I was telling someone when I came in that I got saved in this church when I was about nine years old. I got saved in this church and it was as a result of mama bringing me to church. I remember I used to be board benches down there. I peed on it several times because I had to be at church with mama. But um, I, I thank God for everything that I am right now is because of what she has invested in me. And I give God thanks, amen? And then I, I bring greetings on behalf of our church back home in New York. Um, for Gospel Tabernacle of Faith, our Bishop and our Pastor Dr. Valerie Samuels and to the rest of the family who are watching that could not be here today. Um, remembrance of the late Evangelist Gatilda Moore, Sister Dottie, and by immediate or imme our immediate family, Mama. Mama emba embodied the true epitome of love. There was no one in this world she thought did not deserve to be loved. This would be seen through the meticulous approach to taking care of our family and, by extension, our community. I can remember in my younger days, Dabesh, she's the first woman I, I've seen as a kid. That every evening that she prepared her husband dinner, Dabesh's meat and his food were prepared on one side, and he would have his produce, or if it was rice, but they're in separate plates and they would be placed meticulously on the, on the table for him when he was ready for his dinner. 
um, food, it, it was not just that, but also she fed the needy. I remember several mornings or evening that we were home and mama, you had um, people of unsung mind would come to the house and they would get their breakfast, get their dinner. It doesn't matter how small it was, we had to share all of it and they had to get it too. Um, that's, what, that, that's what mama represented. I remember Mass Country, most of you, I don't know if you know him, but, but Mass Country back in the days, um, we had to take turns in bringing Mass Country's breakfast and his dinner every single day. Um, there are times when Mama got angry, she was um, to Geneva, in Geneva's own world, get up and come carry the food, go give Mass Country. But we had to ensure that we bring the food even before we eat our food. We had to bring it to Mass Country. She loved her church. There was no church like full truth in Peckham. And by essential, the entire full truth, um, full truth um, church. We remember going to Lolly Green, uh, Maran, we hear some names, I, I don't even know them, but Jericho, all of those names, she had to go. She had to, any, if they were having rallies, even me as a young kid, I remember there were times when I used to go sing. I remember that lady there, she used to be one of the MC of the rallies. I remember her, Pastor Hera. I remember her, but um, she was at every event that the churches were keeping. Um, but there was no church like, no matter, even we invited her to make to our church. She has, she find fault with everything, nothing like full truth. From being the only choir member at times, to committing herself to cleaning the church every Saturday. Yeah. I remember making trips with, uh, making. I remember personally making trips with her to the church, and those times it was red floor and they used polish to do it, and brush so, so she literally had to be on her knees and scrubbing the floor, but she did it without hesitation every single week. There was not an issue with it. Mama loved to attend funerals. That's why you see everybody here today. She loved funerals. We laughed about it all the time because sometimes we were convinced that Mama was going to the funeral of somebody that she didn't even know. But Mama had, Mama, she, she, she had programs, and I mean hundreds of programs. And when we come and visit her, I would sit down personally and go through and see all the people that died because of the programs that Mama had. Even on her dresser, they would line out on her dresser. That's how she was. Her family meant so much to her. One of her desires was to see all of her children and grandchildren saved. When mama visited us, um, any of us, you had to wake up early in the morning for prayer. There was no doubt about it. When you visit her, 4 o'clock in the morning, and she doesn't miss it, every 4 o'clock, you be on the bed sleeping, mama is on her knee praying, and she's calling everybody's name. That's how she prayed. She labored on her feet for everybody. She would gather from the greatest to the smallest for prayer. God kept us because of those prayers. And we are all a testament of those prayers offered throughout the years. It was not just prayer, but she gave. You would think we had a rich grandmother. But really, she didn't have much. All the trips to country, all the, crypt, the trips from country, with all the bananas, the yam, the, the cocoa, um, the, the, the chocolate, the orange, the mango, and sometimes the mangoes had some little black thing inside of them, even um, worms too. But she brought them anyway. Mama ensured that she bought even corn pork. And you wonder, Mama, where you get these things from? She stopped by Pastor Anderson, she get a Hannah banana, she stopped over at Sister Carmen, she get it. that's how she was. And she would travel to every house in Maypen, and everybody would get a bag. I don't know how this woman walked with her frail self with all of that load to take to Maypen. I had no idea. It was something that we could not fathom. But she would manage all of it and ensure everyone got. Finally, but not by any means least, Mama loved God. Yes. Through losing her three children, my mother 
Audrey, her, her daughter, and Claire, her, her last son, that died very young, maybe 1920, thereabout. But um, I've seen a real strength yes. in yes. this woman. Yes. Yes. I saw a real strength. Yes. She lived a job life. Because it didn't matter the circumstances. She held her integrity in God. Right. Yes. So when she was going through the pain, she had a song on her lips and she had, had a praise in her heart. Hallelujah. But she would never forget the mercies of God. Amen. She held on to her God. Hallelujah. Even to the end, when all her memories fade, even me, her very own Oe. There are times she didn't even remember me. And she'll be calling me Tony, calling me Tony, and Tana, you know, and calling me all sorts of names. And then there are times when it comes back in and she said Brown, and she remember who I was. But even when our memory fades, our relationship with God never fades. You will start a song of Zion and you hear her ringing the song with you. You'll be quoting a scripture and you hear mama just jumping with it. It never fades. Even though our members fail, our relationship with God never fail. In our pain, you would hear us saying, Thank you, Jesus. Thank God. Hallelujah. Or speaking in unknown tongues. I remember visiting her in the hospital one of the time we thought we would have lost her. And when we when I visited her in the hospital and I was there with her by her bed, and I was singing an all her favorite song, and even though pain was rocking our body. You hear her sing, and one of her songs that her daughter sung in was um, Guide Me, O Thou Great Jehovah. Every prayer meeting we had to sing it. And I started singing this song, and I said, Guide me, O Thou Great Jehovah.
and they provided her with all that she needed, the best of clean health care that she could have had. She had it to the end. Her life, and I want everybody to listen to me. I want you to listen to me and listen, listen to me clearly. Her life is a template of how we should treat people. Love them while they're here. Because we know not the day nor the hour. Mama loved everybody. And she made sure that you knew that she loved you. Don't scatter roses when they're gone. Mama never loved to relax. Because when she come by everybody's house, if your plate dirty, she'll wash it. If your house dirty, she'll clean it. You tell her, Mama, sit down. No, she's not sitting down. But look at God. God, make you relax now, Mama. Go and relax yourself, Mama, because I'm not fight to fight. Sleep in peace, my angel, in human form. How we love you dearly. I love you, Mama. God.
we have the word coming to us. None other. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Minister Richard Clark. Amen. A humble man of God. A man that God has called to ministry in a time like this. Praise God. Never know that he would really take on the baton here. But it's the will of the Lord. He did not get a chance to work with evangelists more like others do. But he had that chance to work with her while she goes all around Fuchu Church. Oh, glory to God. And as for the choir minister, the next voice that you'll be hearing will be the voice of Minister Clark. Amen. Praise God. Choir, your turn. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. How? Jesus. Going home to Jesus in the twinkling of the night.
Christmas morning when we hear I'm the day I'm the day in Christ I shall rise Oh, in that great day of Praise God. It is not how you start out, but 
the power of sin. Praise God. And so I promise not to be long. But brothers and sisters, there is a rumor going around that there is no life after death. There are some of our unsaved friends will tell you that the grave is where it ends. But I am here to tell somebody that there is life after death. I heard Joe in Joe chapter 14 ask a very significant question. It's one of the most important questions I saw in the Bible. Job said, if a man dies, shall he live? Yes. What a question. Because speculation is that man dies and that's where he ends. But Job in Job chapter 19, from 25 to 27, Job answered the question. He asked the question, and he himself answered the question. Amen. Job said in Job chapter 19, 25 to 27, as I said before. Job gave a clear picture of what is going to happen, praise God, after man dies. For I know that my Redeemer lives. Somebody here today in Peckham need to know that your Redeemer lives. Amen. And that he shall stand on the latter day upon the earth. Job is confident that his Redeemer will stand on the earth in the latter day. Praise God and go after my skin. Where will destroy this body? Job said, get in my flesh. Shall I see God? I shall see him for myself and not another. Job is saying, no, I am not going to see him in a vision. I am going to see him with my eyes in the natural. I shall see God. What? What an assurance. Job is saying that for myself, nobody's going to see him and come and tell me that he's here. I shall see him for myself. My answer, friend, you will see him for yourself and not another. Job said, my eyes shall behold him and not another, though my reign be consumed within me. Job was going through a very difficult time. But he said, I have the assurance that I will see my maker. Praise God after death. Brothers and sisters, Job was not afraid to die. Job was confident that his soul was right with his maker. And so in Job chapter 14, Job made it clear that death will be a transportation for him. Death will transport him into a new life. Brothers and sisters, Job was tired of the trial and testing. Sister Moore was tired of the trials of this life. And so death has come to release him. Praise God. And that is why Paul said, I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. And verse 13, Paul said, I do not want you to be ignorant concerning those who are asleep in Christ. I do not, I want, I do not want you to be misinformed. Not what the apostle was saying. So they were ignorant. Praise God in the church. Praise God among the Thessalonian brethren. Praise God they misunderstood the resurrection message. And so today I'm here to tell somebody in Peckham, praise God that you better get right with God. Because there will be a resurrection. Praise God that you ought to be in the first resurrection. 
when caught up together to meet the Lord in the air. Brothers and sisters, let us be rapture ready. Knowing that death is inevitable. There is nothing we can do about death. Because it was appointed unto man once to die. And after death comes the judgment. So man is going to live again. Yes, man. Where is God? But what position will you find yourself in? Praise God on that final day. The opportunity is now yes. to make it right with your man. Hallelujah. I, I look in Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 13. Praise God. Yes. St. Luke chapter 13, rather. Jesus said, God the master of the vineyard. He planted a tree. And I want to talk to myself, friends, for the next five minutes. He planted a tree in his vineyard. And for three long years, he had been visiting that tree. Not a fruit. But he said to the dresser, I am going to get cut down. Yes, I am fed up. Yeah, man. I am tired yes, of coming to this tree yes, and get no food. Yes, Somebody today, yes, you are not bearing any fruit. Yes, and God is about to cut you down. Yes, I heard the moderator said, Somebody will be leaving out. Yes, we don't know when, yes, and we don't know how. But somebody will be going. Brothers and sisters, the, the, the most, praise God, the, um, the most uh, news that you will receive in Jamaica today is that somebody died. It is so common. We get used to it now. Every minute, somebody is dead. Our young people are dying like tree leaves falling from trees. And the worst part of it, Pastor, they don't want to hear about their soul. They don't want to serve God. They don't want to surrender their lives to God. Just Tuesday, after we left Pastor Vernon Richards' funeral, and immediately after we reached home, my wife had a very disturbing phone call. A young girl from Alston. She was operating a bar in the Pumbukal area of Kingston. And she was shot to death. My friends, it is not if you are going to die. The question is when it will take place. Get ready. Be ready. Somebody is making your final move. Somebody is here today. You will be next. Is your heart right with God? The opportunity is now being extended to you. Praise God to make it right before death struck. Wasted years, the songwriter says. Oh, how foolish. As you walk in darkness and pain, turn around, turn around. God is calling you from a life of waste. Somebody needs to make it right. So the, 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 the Apostle Paul and Job make it clear that there will be life after death. Where will you spend? Brothers and sisters, death is not a bad thing for the believer. Death is not a bad thing for those who trust God. But death is a bad thing for those who do not trust Him. Death, my friend, is a transportation for the believer. Death is a release, praise God, from life's troubles. And so death should not be seen 
as bad as it currently is. It pleases Almighty God to your death as an entrance door to carry his chosen people. I close with this. As the master of the vineyard, gave the instruction to cut down the tree because all of the tree was doing is cumbering up the earth. It was taking up space. Some of us at home are on our farm, we have trees that are not bearing fruit, and we cut them down. That's what God, That's what God is saying. If you refuse to bear fruit, I am going to cut you down. Thank God for Jesus. Jesus said to him, please, I am begging you, give them one more year. Just one more year. Somebody might be here today. You are in your final year. You are in your final month. You have been given your final week. You might be given your final day today. Maybe it is a final hour. What or where, how do you plan to spend your eternity? Examine yourself. Look in your life. See how you live. And leave Babylon and come. My sister in New York, she is very devastated as I speak. She went on an outing. And the driver who drives the bus said to them, I am dropping you all off here. And I'm going to park the bus and return. They were there for a while and they had to see him come back. So they were very concerned. Somebody came and told them he died. Just like that. If there is a sinner here today, there is a saint. God bless you in Jesus' name. Praise God. Wonderful message. Praise God. It's for who are getting ready to be ready. And for those that have not yet started, the message. Amen. And it ends in a sad note. Amen. While you may be waiting for your family member to return, the next news that you will receive that that family member or friend is no longer with us or with you. So, if there's an unsafe that are here today, unsaved, you are here today. Family members who are not saved. You listen to the, 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 the type of tributes and the life that your loved one lived. It was pleasing unto the Lord. Praise God. Amen. I just want all of you who are in the house today, family and friends are no friends and you know that you are not saved. And you want to know that when you die, you will die in the Lord. Raise your hand. Otherwise, you know, say you don't see if you are sinner. Praise God. And you can't go ahead with your sin. Your sin will carry you ahead. Raise your hand. Family or no family. Yes, I see a hand down there. Praise God. I'm going to ask you to stand. The person who raised your hand, will you stand? Yes, I've seen another one. Yes, I've been seeing you. Stand. Stand where you are. Praise God. Hallelujah. There are still some more. Praise God. I know you want to hear, amen, every little last thing about 
infant is more from she was born right to the, the, uh, um, the time when she departs. But I want somebody to say at the funeral service of this great woman of God, I gave my heart to the Lord. Oh my God. Praise God. Overseer, come again. Hallelujah. Remain standing. Praise God. Amen. I'm asking you to pray. Praise the name of the Lord. As you are standing, you are not saved. There are the persons, might be you are on the outside or somewhere. You have listened to the word of God. Hallelujah. And we want to introduce you to this family. It's the family of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And if I were at this funeral today and I'm not saved, and listen to the tributes and all the accolades that were given to evangelists, I would be jealous and want to be in this company. Praise the name of the Lord. I won't have you standing long. Just bow your heads as I pray. You know the thing that I love about my God is that he gave us the greatest thing that man could ever have. The power of choice. Amen. And it's your choice that will determine if you go to heaven or you will spend your eternity in hell, it's your choice. Bow your heads. Father, it's in the name of Jesus Christ we come to you. We know that you are our God and you never fail. You are such a God that you cares about us that even when we messed up and we have run your garden into ruins and we have disobeyed you and even when you were angry with us you still made a plan and a way for us mighty God because you told us in your word that the seed of the woman oh God will bruise the head of the serpent and in the fullness of time Isaiah prophesied hallelujah that a virgin shall bring forth a son no shall call his name Emmanuel, meaning God with us. Hallelujah. Ah, and Matthew tells us that the fullness of time came that may be brought forth our son. Hallelujah. At the will of no man, sinless he was. He came and paid the price for our sins and we have this freedom. That somebody can stand in the freedom of salvation today. In this funeral service. And they can mark their day that they started walking with the Lord. Like Isaiah said, the year that mama died. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I accepted the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh. Hallelujah. And this will be my testimony. Ah, Isaiah said the year that King Uzziah died I saw the Lord Praise God. I pray that will save somebody today Amen. Father come into their hearts and allow them to understand that the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life I beg you I ask you Lord knock at their heart door help them to hope not when they are hoping, go in, Lord, and sup with them because that's your promise to us. That if we hope to you, you will come in and you will sup with us. Hear us now, Father. Those who stand, those who are around this place that are not saved, I pray that you will save them. Because what is a church without we recommend you to the, those who are not yet saved? And even in a service, we have allowed this opportunity that somebody will be given the chance to say yes to you. Help somebody to say yes to you today, Father. Help them that will not worry about what will take place when they go home or when they go back to work or when they leave this place. But you have already made the preparation. Oh, that those things will be taken care of. So save somebody today, Lord, as we give you glory. In Jesus' name, Amen. the Lord bless you.
you find a Bible believing church and go there and worship the Lord. Amen. God bless you. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. You will stand a while ago. You don't have to drop, roll on the floor and bow to show that you accept the Lord. It's just a made up mind. Praise God. And take him home with you. And as the um, overseer said, find the church and worship the Lord. Praise God. We are not seeking after church members, but we are seeking soul for glory. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Coming to us with the eulogy. Kamisha Boob and Michelle Brooks, granddaughters. And after the eulogy, prayer for the bereaved family will be done by Bishop Robert Lee. Praise the Lord. And I will come back to give the instruction after. Praise the Lord. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. The for the life, the late, Batilda Moore, Evangelist Moore, Samoor, Mamod, all the names you can think of. Batilda's journey began on December 1, 1994, sorry, 1944, in a small town to the late Louise McIntosh in a close-knit community called Denzel, where everyone knew each other's name and the neighbors were like family. Born into modest beginnings, she learned the value of hard work, resilience, and the warmth of genuine connections from an early age. She met fell in love and married Pastor Algie Warren in 1966, who predeceased her in death in 2018. Together they born nine children, of which three predeceased them both. Though her family was rocked by the various storms they persevered, Tatina carried lifelong lessons with her throughout life. She applied them in raising her children and in every relationship she fostered. Tatina loved to love people. She would give her last to anyone who was in need. One of her favorite things was to get up early and pray for her children, and by extension, family members and friends. And whenever she is not praying, she is singing or humming a song. She had a spirit that refused to be tamed and a curiosity that knew no, bond, no bonds. This made her stories a blend of fascinating adventures and sage advice to many she was a mentor, a friend, and guiding star. She was one you could turn to when life threw challenges your way. The one who celebrated every milestone with joy, brighter than the sun. She was, in so many ways, the cornerstone of the family. Her kindness was not confined. She believed that generosity could be a gentle whisper that creates an echo of goodness in the world. This belief materialized in the way she volunteered at her community here in Pekong, supporting families during times of loss. The meals she would cook for those in need, and the way she always had time to listen to a friend in distress. She had this unwavering philosophy that love in its truest form should be given without expectation being returned. Yet it was her love and her warmth 
that often came back to her in ways we could never quantify. Tatilda had an extraordinary sense of humor. To know her was to experience the full spectrum of laughter, from chuckles at her clever puns to belly laughs from her comedic storytelling. Her joy was infectious. It could light up a room and lift the spirits of those around her. She had this innate ability to find humor even in moments of adversity, teaching us that laughter could be both solace and strength. It's impossible to encapsulate all that she was and all that she meant to so many people within a few words. She was a multifaceted, a woman of many talents and roles, an avid gardener. Her love for nature was evident in the meticulously cared for even that was our backyard. Flowers blossomed and trees bore fruit, reflecting the care and attention she poured into everything and everyone around her. She loved them so much, so that whenever her kids would go to visit, you would see the flowers before you could see the house. Yet, beyond all these roles, she was simply mom, or Mama Dotty, a title she revered above all others. Her advice would thread its way through, their, through our lives, shaping who they are today or who we are today. Her influence was unmistakably in each of her, sorry, in each of her children, from their sense of integrity to the kindness they aspired to show others. They were her pride and joy, just as she was theirs. She taught them the importance of education, of always doing the right thing, and that it was okay to make mistakes as long as we learned from them. Her guidance was the compass that led them through life, and it remains within them as part of their legacy from her. In her final days, her concern was for her family, for our well-being, over us. She was selfless to the very end. And when she could fight no longer, it was with dignity and the peace that she said her farewell. Her passing, though heartbreaking, is not the end. She lives on through us and the love we continue to share. Her legacy is indelible. Her memory eternal. That Tilda lived 2 Timothy 4, verse 78. You fought a good fight. You finished your course. We loved you to the end, Mama. Mama, some more, Miss Dutty, Mother, Evangelist Matilda Moore slept away peacefully according to Psalms 37, verse 37. Mark the perfect man and behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. She transitioned on Monday, April 4th, 2024. Dotilda is survived by her children, Tony, Simon, Atana, Patricia, Winsome, Grace, and Anne Marie. 28 grandchildren, 17 great grandchildren, 5 sisters, 1 brother, nieces, nephews, and a host of other relatives and friends. As the walk is by the way, I begin on the job.
Corporation at this time. Hello? Yeah. So we're well, not sure with the funeral service, you're still on camera and all of that. So we're gonna be needing your corporation. Where, the, where are the members of the choir? We are near, we need your singing. Let's bow our heads, everybody. Let's bow your heads. Close your eyes. Father, we thank you for life, thank you for strength, thank you for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Thank you that you have allowed us this fear with us. Father, we have spent, oh God, the hours in the church building and now we are here. We ask you for strength. We ask you for cooperation. We ask you for strength for the work and as they will work, mighty God. We ask that you will be glorified in all of this. 
take glory for yourself in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as, as we have listened and we have spent a long time in the building and we are about to commit the remain of our dear sister, the Tilda V. Moore. We're asking for your best of cooperation. Amen? Amen. It's not often that we get this opportunity to spend such a wonderful time with a true woman of God. You are asking him to be with us. Carla, come, come deal with this, brother. Man that is born of a woman Heart, but a short time to live. And Poor it's full bank. of misery. Your she comet and is cut down like a flower. Inflate as it were a shadow and never continue it in one state. In the midst of life, we are in debt. Of whom may we seek or suffer? But of thee, O Lord, who is, who for our sins are justly displeased. Thou knowest, Lord, the secret of our hearts. Shut not thy mercy, merciful ears to our prayer. But spare us, most holy, O God, most mighty. O holy and merciful Savior, thou most were the judge eternal suffer us not at our last hour for any pains of death to fall on thee. For as much as it has pleased Almighty God in his wise providence to take out of this world our dear mother, evangelist the Tilda Moore. We therefore commit our body, heart to heart, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, looking for the general resurrection in the last day and the life of the world to come through our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose second coming in glorious majesty to judge the world. The earth and the she shall give up their dead, and the corruptible bodies of those who sleep in him shall be changed and make un like unto his glorious body, according to the mighty work whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself. Could we as they put her under, could we sing if we if I walk in the pathway of beauty? Could you tune your voice? Sandrine. And help me sing. If I walk. In the pathway of beauty, if I work in the close of the day, I shall see the great king in his beauty. When Everybody, 
for Christ. I proclaim the story. If I see for a sheep gone astray, I am sure he will show me his glory. When I come, the last mile of the way, I will rest at the close of the day, and I know
Sisters, it has been good. Yes, sir. Amen. Wonderful. Amen. A legacy of love. In the wake of the Tilda's passing, we find solace in reflecting upon the enduring legacy she leaves behind. A testimony to a life lived with passion, kindness, and unwavering love. To the, to the family we say, don't weep as you have no hope, but weep with the assurance that you will see evangelists again. Yes. She lived well, and we are proud of her life. Amen. As a church, 
we say to you, Evangelist Sister Datilda V. Moore, sleep on well. We love you well, but Jesus love you best. Good night. Good night. Good night, Evangelist Moore. We look forward to see you. You have served well. No rest well. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just ask you right now to be with us as we travel back home from whence we came. We pray for journeying mercies. We pray that your love will rest upon us. And we pray that we'll reflect on Sister Moore's life. A life of peace, a life of kindness. A life, oh God, that had hardship, but she endured. And now she's resting. Rest well, Sister Moore. We salute you. God bless you. Sleep on. Sleep on. Sleep on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Lay down. Lay down. Upon. We love you well. We love you. For Jesus. Jesus loves you best. Good night. Good night. Good night. Until we meet again. Until we need I can't be and No Let's grow with the Until we know Even as we are known Good night, good night, good night Until the Easter Glory light the sky Till the next in the sunlight, and he shall come, but not in lowly guide. Good night, good night, good night. Say we love you well, we love you well, but Jesus love you best. Oh, good night, good night, good night. Say we love you well, we love. But Jesus love you best. Good night, good night, good night. Good night, good night, good night. In this life down here below, sometimes I But what a comfort it is to know They're just asleep at rest with the Lord Christians never die They only say goodbye Goodbye to pain and woe Hello to a brand new home Goodbye Hello to a brand new life Goodbye to all the trouble Satan caused us here below Oh, Christians never die They only say Goodbye to sin and strife. 
Hello. <laughs>